Roads of God, the terrifying power of kinetic orbital bombardment. Maybe some of you finished school a long time ago, but you surely remember what kinetic energy is. However, for those who do not remember or did not have a good grade in physics, here is the definition to remind us. In physics, the kinetic energy of an object is the energy that it possesses due to its motion. It is defined as the work needed to accelerate a body of a given mass from rest to its stated velocity. Precisely, this kinetic energy was used for a kinetic bombardment, or a kinetic orbital strike. What is that? Nothing is clear to you now, is it? Don't worry, we will clarify everything right away. According to the definition, a kinetic bombardment, or a kinetic orbital strike, is the hypothetical act of attacking a planetary surface with an inert kinetic projectile from orbit orbital bombardment, where the destructive power comes from the kinetic energy of the projectile impacting at very high speeds. The kinetic bombardment has the advantage of being able to deliver projectiles from a very high angle at a very high speed, making them extremely difficult to defend against. In addition, projectiles would not require explosive warheads, and in the simplest designs would consist entirely of solid metal rods, giving rise to the common nickname, Rods from God. This unusual topic deserves more details, but before the video continues, please subscribe to our channel. It will only take a few seconds of your time, but it will mean a lot to us, so please do it. So how does this even work? This technology includes a pair of satellites orbiting several hundred miles above the Earth, and they would serve as a weapons system. One functions as the targeting and communications platform, while the other carries numerous tungsten rods up to 20 feet in length and a foot in diameter that it can drop on targets with less than 15 minutes notice. When instructed from the ground, the targeting satellite commands its partner to drop one or more of its darts. The guided rods enter the atmosphere protected by a thermal coating, traveling at 36,000 feet per second, comparable to the speed of a meteor. The result? is complete devastation of the target, even if it's buried deep underground. Pretty clever and impressive plan, right? But is everything that perfect? Well, Rods of God do have a couple of advantages over regular missiles. Dropping them from space would give any prospective target little to no warning before they struck, and the sheer density of the rod would give it an awful lot of penetrating power ideal for destroying hardened targets. But they have to be weighed up against the massive disadvantages inherent in the concept. First and foremost of which is that to drop an 8-ton rod onto somebody's head, you first have to lift it into orbit. With typical launch costs currently standing at around $5,000 per kilo at the cheap end, putting just one of these rods into orbit would cost a whopping $40 million. Putting a whole array of them up there would be ruinously expensive. There would be similar costs involved in developing a kinetic bombardment array that would massively inflate the cost and all for something that has less destructive capacity than a World War II-era Lancaster bomber, and whose job can easily be performed by much cheaper conventional missiles and bombs. Little wonder, then, that the Rods from God concept has never made it out of the pages of science fiction. Finally, it is said that the Rods can hit any target on Earth minutes after the kill button is pressed. Once again, this doesn't seem properly thought out. The Rods can only hit targets on or near their orbital track, for weeks at a time, some parts of the world would be invulnerable, as their potential attackers would never come within hundreds of kilometers from their positions. The only way around this limitation is to have hundreds of rods waiting ready in multiple orbits, requiring a ludicrous number of launches. Even if the target is directly under the rod's orbital track, the attack may not be instantaneous, as those who order the attack wait perhaps 90 minutes for the rods to move around the Earth into position. Even the Joint Chiefs of Staff cannot overrule Sir Isaac Newton. Yes, the idea is really interesting and unique, but you will admit that it still needs a lot of time to be realized, although maybe it shouldn't be realized. Imagine how terrifying it is that someone can attack you and your city and wipe you off the face of the Earth without you even being warned about it. It is scary like in horror movies. And just remember this is not a movie, but real life. It is best without any conflict, especially not war. So let this idea remain just an idea. What do you say? Do you agree? We are very interested in what you have to say on this topic, and that is why there is a section for your comments. So write them there, and we will be very happy to read them. Apart from comments, we also expect one like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to press the notification button for more topics like this one. Thank you for your attention, and have a nice day.